A friend of mine asked how to make red onions, so that's what I'm going to do right now. Here I have rolled out some uh, translucent white clay in, I think, the second thinnest setting on my pasta machine. And I am rolling that around a knitting needle, and I think this is a 2.5 millimeter knitting needle. And I'm not overlaying it and at all. And I'm just going to roll it a tiny bit, making sure that it is sitting really neat and tight around this knitting needle. Then I mixed one third of Bordeaux colored clay with two thirds of the translucent white clay together. Mixed that really, really good. And then I rolled it out on my pasta machine. And again, I think this was a tiny bit bigger. So the third smallest setting on my pasta machine. And I wrapped this around the translucent clay that we already have on the knitting needle. Again, do not let it overlay. Then I took some of my Bordeaux colored clay and I rolled it out on the same setting as this uh, mixed between the Bordeaux and the translucent. And I'm going to wrap that around this again. And again, I'm not letting it overlay, but I'm making sure it is going all the way around. I'm rolling it a bit to make sure that these three layers has kind of fused together. And now I am going to do it all from one end to the other again. So first the translucent in the second uh, smallest setting on my pasta machine. Wrapping that around, making sure it is sticking onto um, the rest of the clay. Then the half, no. That's not half. That was one part of the translucent white and three part of the uh, Bordeaux together. Making sure that that is nice and secure on the rest of the clay. And then we are ending off with the Bordeaux just as it is and making sure again it is not overlaying but that it is all the way around on the cane. And then I am just going to roll it until I have the thickness on the cane that I really want. So um, I think I'm going to half this one. So I carefully cut this on the middle, really carefully. And then again, carefully, I'm just kind of uh, turning it around on the knitting needle and then placing it on the other. Uh, I have two of these. And then I can roll it even thinner again. So I'm just gonna roll until I'm happy with the size of my king. I baked these for 10 minutes and nothing more than 10 minutes because that can ruin the cane. Um, and these were actually really, really stuck on there. I did get them off, but it took me quite a while to uh, work with this, like trying to turn the cane around the knitting needle. It was really a hard one, but I got them off. And now I am just going to cut them into really, really small slices. I'm doing this with a really sharp knife. If they are impossible to slice, you can give them a few seconds in a hot oven to just make them a bit softer and then you can cut them even better. But this was a fun cane to make and you can use these for whatever you have in mind. So thank you for watching and happy crafting.